Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm really glad you're here because this is part two of our cabinet bar build project. Part one was building the lower cabinets with the beverage cooler. If you missed that video, be sure to check it out. I'll put a link to it right here in the video and also in the description. Well, today's video is gonna be showing you how to build the upper cabinets that include the inset microwave. Now, if you've always wanted to build upper cabinets with the inset flush mount microwave and the shaker style, you're in luck because I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. And if that's something you're interested in watching, stick around because we're about to get started. All right, so I've pre-cut all the panels for this project and that's to save you the headache of me running them through my table saw to the sound of some music that I selected. Well, what the most important thing that we're gonna do now is we're gonna take all the panels that we have and we're gonna create some specific grooves in these before we do assembly. Now, it's very important to do this at this stage because it's how everything will line up correctly when we put it all together. And if you're interested in the actual cut dimensions of everything and the cut list that I have for this project, I'll put a link to the plans in the description below and right here in the video. So let's move on to creating those channels uh, and then also creating those pinholes. Next, you're gonna create pocket holes in your two side panels. Then you're gonna use your pinhole jig to create all the pinholes for all the shelves that are gonna be in the upper cabinet. All of our panels are now prepped and now it's time to move on to assembly. Now the way we're gonna assemble this is we're gonna start with the bottom of the cabinet and we're gonna be attaching the sides first using the pocket hole joinery method. We're gonna lay some glue down and then screw those pocket hole screws in place with some clamps. And then we're gonna install the center supports and then we're gonna put the top on and then we're gonna add some additional support supports to make sure that this thing stays true and square. So let's go ahead and start gluing everything up. You're gonna start with attaching the sides first. Then you're gonna attach the center pieces and then your top. Don't forget to glue and attach your center shelf. And then you're gonna be adding the supports in the corners. This is to help keep it from moving. Okay, so let me explain a few things on what I did here on the back. Now I put these braces in and the only purpose that these uh, horizontal braces serve is just to simply mount this cabinet to the wall. Now I know a stud is every 16 inches, so I needed a way to put a screw into the cabinet and hold it and hang it to the wall. So that's why you have some on the top and some on the bottom. What we're doing now is installing a center divider for the two cabinet doors above the microwave. This is what your cabinet will look like without the face frame. Next, I'm gonna show you how to build the face frame and attach it to your cabinet. I laid out my face frame on my table and I'm simply just gonna use glue and clamps to hold everything together and then I'm gonna come back and screw everything in with some pocket holes. You're gonna do this several times till your frame is complete and then it'll be ready for painting. After everything was painted, I then installed my face frame using wood glue and some brad nails. I had the help of some clamps to hold everything together and make sure everything was square before I finally attached it. I epoxied the holes and spray painted everything one final coat. 
Next, I installed the door hinge clip to the face frame and then the door hinges to the actual door. Installation was pretty easy. Everything just clips in. And here you can see I'm installing the door handles. As you can see, the upper cabinets are built and now it's ready to be installed. Once it's installed, I'm going to show you the inset microwave and how that all goes together. And then a nice little feature that I added to this cabinet that I think you will really enjoy. Before you install your upper cabinets, I would highly recommend installing a temporary shelf bar. You can just use a scrap piece of wood, just make sure it's level. This is going to hold your cabinet up while you screw it into your studs. Now I had to ask my friend Mark to help me lift this cabinet up so I could screw it to the wall. You always want to be safe and always have an extra pair of hands available. If you're interested in learning how to install this microwave and trim kit, I'll put a link to that video right here and also in the description. So for my cabinet, the big surprise is I'm installing cabinet under lighting and I'm using Flexfire LED lights. I'll put everything in the description below. These things are amazing. I highly would recommend doing it and it will make your cabinets look great. Okay, so I have everything hooked up. You can see the wiring right here. It goes white, you skip one, and then it goes blue, green, red, and then black. After I put the lights in, I had to put the diffusers on. These just snap in place. Don't forget to install your crown molding. And the final step is to attach all your doors. All right, so you can see that I have finished this project. I have laid the tile in and I have grouted everything. I've even caulked all my areas. I even caulked some of the spacing that I had here. And I am just so happy with how this turned out. Now, I think my favorite feature about this entire build is honestly the inset microwave that's flush to the face frame. That probably is the thing that makes me the happiest. But the thing that makes me smile the most is the LED lighting underneath the cabinet. You don't realize how cool it is till you actually have it. And I don't have this in my main kitchen of my house because I couldn't afford it at the time. I didn't know how to do it. I actually might do it as another YouTube video. But that lighting is from uh, Flexfire LEDs. And if you know anything about my channel, they're the only LED lights that I recommend. And they're not paying me to say that. This is not sponsored by them in any way. However, they're phenomenal. They have like 15 year warranty on them. It's great. Now, the cabinets. So I know a lot of you are probably wondering, well, how much did this cost you to make, Philip? Well, let me break it down for you real quickly. The cabinets at the bottom cost about 150 bucks. That includes all the hardware, the face frame, and the plywood that I used to build those cabinets. The upper cabinets were a little bit more expensive because it, it took actually a little bit more material. It was probably about $200 in material to make, uh, $200, $225 to make the upper cabinets. And then you have to, and that includes the hardware. Then you've got to add in the appliances. So the beverage fridge, the microwave, the trim kit, the faucet, the sink, and then I had to buy some plumbing uh, to hook everything up. So the, the fridge is a $600 fridge. Believe it or not, beverage fridge are, fridges are very expensive. The microwave is a relatively cheap microwave. I looked really hard to find a trim kit that worked, so I did a ton of research to find the right size. And so if you're interested in that exact model and make, I'll put a link to that in the description below. And I have a separate video too that shows you how to actually install it all if you're interested in looking at that. Um, but that I would say maybe like $100 for that, seven, six hundred for that, and then the sink and the faucet, maybe $150 or something. So all in all, I would say seven, fifty, you know, you're in maybe around like $1,100, $1,200 to build something like this. 
um, which is a really great price to do it yourself. Now, I did fail to mention that the countertops, these countertops are a little thinner than normal countertops and that's because I couldn't afford the really nice thick ones. They're about an inch, uh, inch and a quarter uh, thick. This is three quarter inches. The countertop cost a lot of money. It was $800 for that countertop, believe it or not. And that was a deal. Prices are just crazy. So the point is you can make it, you can build it. And if you're interested in building this, I have plans for the upper cabinets and the bottom cabinets. And I'll put a link to those right here and also in the description below. Now, if you have any questions about this project and the building process or anything about what I did or the techniques, please post below, guys. I'm here to help you out. I love answering your questions and helping you make things because like everything, I believe you can make it. And if you have uh, things that you wanna know more about or you wanna more details, let me know, okay? Also, um, if you don't wanna miss my next video, consider subscribing, no pressure, okay? All right, guys, well, till next time, I'll see you later.